ranger. Your watchwords die or do, ranger. There's courage in the beat of your faithful Mustang seat. Ride, ranger, ride. in the United States Cavalry. What are they going to make out of you, Roof? They made me plumb sick, talking about Texas being better off without us Rangers and giving our jobs to the United States Cavalry. Well, what are you going for, then? To keep them ten soldiers out of trouble. I'm going to be a scout. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, so long, fellas. Well, hey, wait a minute. We've been discharged from the Rangers. Why can't we be cavalrymen? Well, why not? What do you say, man? The cowboy sings about the golden west. But here is a song every cowboy sings. It's the one they all love best. When the sun's in the west and the cattle around it. We'll rest on the sunset trail Where a pal is the best And by friends we're surrounded We'll rest on the sunset trail So things may What's the matter? Don't you like music, Lieutenant Cameron? Sometimes. Until we cross the veil When the sun's in the west And the last call is sounded We'll rest on the sunset trail Before we continue our program, I want to explain why your government has brought us, that is, the United States Cavalry, here to Fort Adobe. Now, we're not here to fight the Indians, as the custom has been in the past, but to make friends with them. He don't know nothing about Redskins. No. Now, our orders from Washington are to sign a treaty with them, and we do not expect any trouble. Only trouble comes from trying to keep your hair on. But we do want your cooperation in abstaining from antagonizing them. Now, can I expect... I certainly do not think this is too much to expect. Couldn't have done better myself. May I escort you to the dance tonight, Miss Summerall? A 
I've already asked Miss Summerall for that honor. But you forget, Bob, that I didn't accept. Having to choose between two such charming gentlemen is really an embarrassing situation. Let me see. I have it. I'll go with the one who wins the horse race today. A splendid idea. I'll call for you at seven. He has a lot of confidence in himself, Lieutenant. Or rather in his horse. The champions never let another horse beat him. So don't be surprised if I'm the one who calls for you. There's the bugle now. I'll be cheering for you, but I'm not cheering for Lieutenant Cameron. This is to be a two-mile race around Buffalo Corrals and back. You'll start from here, and the first man to cross the finish line over there wins for his troop. Sergeant Matthews, up there, will announce the progress of the race. Do you like to dance, Lieutenant? Very much. With Miss Summerall. She's an excellent dancer. And I'm looking forward to a very pleasant evening. Mm. Black horses beat white horses. You're full of loco weed, Injun. Little wolf, no. You do, eh? Come here. I bet his scalp again a pair of moccasins that he beats the black horses. Me take him back. Well, hey, what I get out of this? You get to keep your hair if you win. Is Troop A ready? Ready, sir. Troop B? Ready, sir. Get set! Get him scalp. Help! Proof! Help! Proof! Right! Serve your right for falling off. I'll help you. I can't hold him long. Get going. They're springing out now. Troop A is in the lead, but Troop B is close behind. Autry and Cameron are holding back, letting the others set the pace. It's going to be a great race. Heck, the race, what's Frog doing? <laughs> well, Frog's leading by eight paces, but the Indian's running strong. The horses are nearing the halfway mark. It's still anybody's race. Audrey and Cameron have moved into fourth and fifth places. Trooper Brand of Troop A is leading. Oh, Brand's horse fell. What a spill. Troop B is now leading. They're at the halfway mark. Now they're heading back. Troop A has taken the lead again. Frog has lost ground to the Indian. He's only two paces in front. The Indian's gaining. Frog stumbles. He's down. The Indian stumbles. They're both down. The Indian got him. He's scalping him. No, he hasn't wait. Frog scalping the Indian. Don't <laughs> oh, Wrong again. They're trying to get up. Frog is up. The Indian's up. They're off again. Frog has a good lead. Hair raiser, raiser ever here. The horses are nearing the home stretch. Cameron is riding hard with Humphrey links behind. Troop A is still in the lead. Cameron is creeping up, but Audrey won't be shaken off. He's still got the length behind. Come on, Dean, come on. Now you're shouting. Cameron's pulling ahead. He's leading by two lengths. It looks like the race is his. Now it isn't. Audrey's closing in. Look at him ride. Look at him ride. He's coming up. He 
Maybe we should give him one dance, so he won't be too jealous. Or two. Two would make me jealous. <laughs> Who won? Well, good for you. You can run even if you can't ride. Hi there, Proffer. Kind of late for shindig, ain't you? Where's the colonel? Over there. What's itching you? Engines. Sorry to bust in on you, Colonel, but engine just stole some of my horses. Must be one of Tavibo's renegade band. Anybody hurt? Yes, sir. Two engines. That's the way you Texans keep them on the warpath. Now, the policy of the government is to avoid hostilities. But I'll give the matter my immediate attention. Uh, uh, Lieutenant Cameron! Lieutenant Cameron, a band of Indians stole some of that man's stock. You will take Scout Jones here and a squad of your men and bring them to the post for counsel. Pardon me, sir. May I suggest, sir, that uh, Lieutenant Autry and some of his men go along also? Being acquainted with the country, they would help considerably. Uh, Scout Jones is very competent, sir, and I'm afraid that we couldn't be much help. On the contrary, I think Lieutenant Cameron's point is very well taken. Lieutenant Autry will take some of his men and accompany him. Very good, sir. Did you say you were going to a dance tonight? Nice work, Cameron. Thanks. But Colonel Summerall deserves all the credit. Uh, well, boys, we're heading into the Peace River country now. My plan is to spread out to surprise the Indians. Surprise them? With this tin outfit, <laughs> we couldn't make more noise with a regimental band. We are only carrying regulation equipment. And I have no authority to discard it. Long knives, hunt stolen horses. I give signal, surround, fight. We will be ready, no people. Engine. Halt! Comanche, but they're making peace signs. They want a powwow, but I think it's a war party. What makes you think so? War paint. War paint is hardly a reason to mistrust their peace signs. Besides, there's only three of them. Lieutenant, when you see engines, be careful. And when you don't see engines, be more careful. Tell them to advance and we'll hold a council with them. You're walking into a trap. That's my responsibility, Autry. Sure, but we're with you. Remember, men, no firing unless I give the order.
Bring him along. One soldier, too quick. Shoot. Bad medicine. No fight today. You ride behind me, Davis. We'll need your horse for the wounded buck. He must have been hit by stray bullets. He's dead. Soldier know the signal? Soldier know many things. One time ranger. But for him, our belts would be heavy with the scalps with the long knife. Davibo will not forget ranger. And in the ensuing exchange of shots, Trooper John Davis was killed. Now, according to this report, Lieutenant Daughtry, you opened fire against the strict orders of your senior, Lieutenant Cameron. Is that true? Yes, sir. And you, Scout Jones, did you fire? I always fire, Colonel, when I see the Indians. That's why I stay so healthy. What have you to say for yourself, Lieutenant Daughtry? I'm positive the Indians were trying to draw us into ambush. I only shot to prevent the one with the mirror from giving the signal. Did anybody see the Indians in ambush? No, sir. Didn't have to see them, Colonel. Indians don't care mirrors to see how pretty they are. Bring in Duval, the interpreter, and the Indian prisoner. Yes, sir. You sent for me, Colonel? Ask him his name and what their purpose was in stopping my men. What's that? Senum, Goi, Hibatam, Nemika. He says his name is Bobtail Horse. That he and two other Indians had just killed a buffalo and they wanted to trade some meat for sugar and coffee with these fellas. Apple size. Indians don't go out hunting buffalo in war paint. Scout Jones apparently isn't well acquainted with Comanches, Colonel. Is that so? There ain't no kind of Indians I don't know about. Well, I've known Bobtail Horse a long time. He's a good Indian. There ain't no such thing. Well, if he's a good Indian, maybe he'll tell us who's supplying to Vivo and his men with cavalry rifles and ammunition. We have no proof of that, Lieutenant Autry. Well, someone is. I'm not interested in your groundless suspicions, Lieutenant. Tell him he may go. What's the... Lieutenant Autry, I find you guilty of seriously jeopardizing our treaty negotiations with the Indians, of rank disobedience to orders, and of being the direct cause of the death of Trooper John Davis. I cite you for general court-martial and guarantee that you will be reduced to the rank of Trooper. As for you, Scout Jones, I find you one month's pay. That's okay, Colonel. I don't need the five dollars anyhow. <clears throat> That's all. <clears throat> you know, I personally think that Autry's suspicions are unfounded. But you keep your eyes and ears open, Duval, and see if anyone is selling arms and ammunition to the Indians. I'll do that, Colonel. And because of the large wagon train of settlers and supplies due during the month, I think it would be advisable to sign the peace treaty with the Indians as quickly as possible. And thus we'll assure the safe arrival of the wagon train. I'll speak to the chiefs, Colonel, and arrange a meeting. Good. I ain't naturally suspicious, but there's something mighty queer about that Duval Kyle. Yeah, he did seem glad when the colonel let Bobtail Horse go. I don't know Comanche. Well, dang his hide, I cut my teeth on a Comanche tomahawk. 
I just saw Bobtail Horse going into the cantina. That's the Bowers place, isn't it? Yeah. Round up some of the boys. You going to grab him? No, but we're going to take a look around. closely to Tavibo. In the next moon, many wagons come to port carrying guns and supplies. White Colonel wants to sign treaty with Indians. You tell Chief, Tavibo says we must sign. Then Colonel's eyes will be closed and he will leave the wagons poorly guarded. But they horse understand. Tavibo wise. Wait. You look tired, boys. Why don't you take a rest? Okay. <laughs> All right, folks. I'm going to give you the hog, dog, and farmer. The old sow gets over in the cornfield, and the old man takes the dog and drives her out. You can hear all three of them. Open the gate. Now you both understand. going on here? These two men got in a fight over this girl. I'll have to place you under arrest, Autry. Come on. Well, what happened? Boys, the colonel just asked me for my resignation. You mean they're kicking you out just for fighting in the cantina? That's right. Well, I just joined on account of you. I'm quitting. Yes, oh, wait we are. Now, wait a minute, boys. You can't quit like that. You've got to wait until your enlistment expires. Think so? Come on, fella. Uh, Contaminate good vittles on a dirty card table. He's eating them cards. Look at him. Hold about half of them, Frog. 
oh gosh, that and Doug, it must have been a spade. Mm, that and Tickle must have been the Joker. Mm, they tell me that frogs are hard to digest, but I'm not ready to digest yet. Oh gosh, you feel sick. Mm, oh, mm, so full. Oh, 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 I think these boys would rather play cards. <laughs> what are you laughing at? A renegade. We feel as terrible about it as you do, but there's no use crying over spilled whiskey. Well, I can't think of anything to do around here. I wonder if you'd mind if we ride along with you. Well, I guess I can't stop you. In fact, I'm darn glad to have you. Well, boys, saddle up your horses and get ready for a long ride. I'll be back in a few minutes and we're riding to the state capitol. I was only carrying out your father's orders. Personally, I like Audrey. Was he really fighting over a, a dance hall girl? Well, he didn't deny it. What makes you so interested in Audrey? I thought that we... Bob, please. I have a headache. Will you excuse me? Certainly. I hope you feel better tomorrow night. Good night. Good night. Saw her before until today. Then why did you let them think that? Because it was the best way I knew to get out of the cavalry. Well, what's wrong with the cavalry? Good evening, Colonel. I said, what's wrong with the cavalry? It's your way of handling the Indians. You're endangering the lives of the people you're here to protect, as well as the safety of that supply train. Oh, Tommy rotten foolishness. Why, the chiefs have already agreed to sign the peace treaty Which with means us. means absolutely nothing with Tavibo on the loose. I suggest you send your men out to meet that supply. I'm perfectly capable of making my own decisions, Autry. I hope so. I just came to say goodbye. I'm leaving tonight. Leaving? Well, where are you going? That hardly concerns you, Dixie. 
goodbye and good luck. Thanks. Goodbye, Colonel. And remember this. Make your peace signs with one hand and keep your rifles ready in the other. I wonder what Jean's doing. Probably kissing the Colonel goodbye. I thought they were sore at each other. Another week in the cavalry and you'd be as dumb as they are. Roof, that man's here again. And don't tell him where I'm at. You see fat pale face? Ain't you got that scalp yet? No catch him. Pale face run too fast. Well, he was around here a little while ago, but I don't know where he is now. and ammunition on that cavalry supply train to outfit every Indian on the plains. And you think this unknown Tavibo is getting the Indians to sign the treaty intentionally to allay suspicion? Yes, sir, I do. What do you think, Major Crosby? I'd say it's good reasoning. And you don't feel that the cavalry could handle the situation? They could if they would. But Washington has given strict orders not to be antagonistic. Their hands are tied. Naturally, I hesitate to interfere in government business. But the security of the people must be safeguarded. Major Crosby, I authorize you to reorganize the Texas Rangers immediately, enlisting enough men to combat any situation that may arise. Yes, sir. Mr. Autry, you will retain your old commission as lieutenant. And I want to thank both you gentlemen for your interest and concern. Thank you, Governor. Good day, Major. Good day, sir. You're a loyal Texas son, and she needs you, everyone. Conquered every foe since a hundred years ago. Ride, Ranger, ride. For old Rangers who are gone, you are meant to carry on. Ride, Ranger, ride. Let the prisoners in jail and post the guard over. Come on, you two coyotes. Get off of them horses. Well, we've got Crazy Crow and Bobtail Horse, but they deny knowing anything about Tavibo. They say the Indians have signed a treaty with the Colonel. Where are they now? They're in jail. Good, they'll talk when they get hungry. What's their next move? I'm leaving right away with a detachment of men to meet the supply train at Buffalo Wells. You'll be in charge during my absence. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Autry and his men have got Crazy Crow and Bobtail Horse in jail. Major Crosby and the Rangers are riding out to Buffalo Wells to meet the supply train. You get to that supply train first. Tell them the Colonel sent you. That the Indians are waiting for them at Buffalo Wells and to come through Coyote Pass instead. So the Rangers have a prisoner already, have they? No, just a couple of Indians. Why? <laughs> You'll never be able to keep them in that old jail. Why not? Why, the bars are loose on that back window. Didn't you know that? No. <laughs>
dang well that these Indians could tell us who Tavibo is. Yeah, if we could ever make them talk. Here come the ten soldiers. Good afternoon, Colonel. Nice day for a ride. Audrey, I understand you're holding Bobtail Horse and Crazy Crow prisoners. That's right. You will release them immediately. Sorry, Colonel, but I can't do that until they answer some questions. If you have any questions of importance, submit them to me, and I'll take care of the matter. You had that chance and didn't take it. The signing of the peace treaty made those Indians wards of the United States government and removes them from your jurisdiction. Ah, that treaty isn't worth the paper it's written on. As Colonel in the United States Army, I demand that you turn those men over to me at once. And as Lieutenant of the Texas Rangers in command of this post during the absence of Major Crosby, I'm forced to refuse. Unless you turn those men over to me at once, I'll order my men to fire upon you. We're with you, Gene. You can start shooting whenever you're ready. Lieutenant, prepare to fire. Prepare to load. Can you imagine going around with your gun empty? Load. All right, Colonel, you win. We can't afford to kill the men we're going to need. Lieutenant, return carbines. Return carbines. All right, Ruth, come on with me. Rangers ask questions. A rather persuasive method, I'd say. Why, you don't think we did that. These men were the only chance we had of proving who Tavivo is. That's right, Colonel. We wouldn't let them get killed before we know it. You can save your explanations for the trial. Lieutenant Cameron, place these two men under arrest for the brutal murder of these Indians. Yes, sir. Well, I'll be a horn toad. Imagine getting arrested because a couple of Indians got killed. Face. How much longer are we going to have to stay in this calaboose? Mm, don't worry, you'll be out pretty soon. Well, sure. We're going to take you murderers out, stand you against the wall, and shoot you full of lead. After fighting Indians all my life, a bunch of tin soldiers has got to get me. Why, well, it's the worst disgrace in being scalped. Oh, I don't think they're going to shoot you, Ruth. You see, you were only acting under my orders. Dang your hide, if you think I'm going to let you stand up there alone? No, sir. I'm going where you go regardless. Halt! What do you want? Well, I want to talk to the president. You'll have to leave your gun out here. Hey, let me in here, Chris. Let me in here, Chris. Let me in here. Get back here. You want them a scout. Come around tomorrow and you get two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't get me that time. Okay, ain't that pretty? Look. Ha, ha, ha. Little wolf catch him someday. <laughs> Never mind the scalping. What'd you find out? The wagon train is coming by the way of Coyote Pass. Tell my men to go out and... What men? They ain't no men here. They're all out hunting Wilson. Well, I hope they find you. Maybe we'll clear up the murder of those Indians. A fine howdy do. We're in jail, the rangers at Buffalo Wells, and the supply train right where it to be bowed woman. Have you seen Duval? Yes, he rode east right after that scout came. Why, that's in the direction of Coyote Pass. 
And the wagon train. Well, we've got to get out of here some way. Wait till I spread my wings. Say, you fellas saying. Huh? Start singing and make some noise. I want to flatten out this tin plate. This jail's getting him. We better humor him and sing. I'm loco. La, 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 la. Fix it so you can't eat off of it. What are you going to do with it? Never mind that. Just saddle our horses and trot them by out here in front of the guardhouse. Horses? Yeah, horses. Them things you fall off of. Yeah, but gee, don't worry about that. Just get out of here. Hey! Hey, let me out of here. Well, go on, Ruth. Slick as a whistle. Dang, never here comes our grub. Hey, we don't want that stew. What do you want, chicken? We don't want nothing except being left alone. You'll be alone a long time after tomorrow. Where's that other plate? What plate? Got so hungry, I must have had it. You don't get any stew till you find that other plate. What's the idea? Why, I was just wondering what time it is. What do you care? You ain't going no place. That was a close one. I say it was. There comes the frog. Get ready, boy. and Jones have escaped, sir. Get the men mounted. Yes, sir. Bob. Don't worry, Dixie. The men have a good start. Ride the Buffalo Wells and tell Major Crossy to get to the supply train at Coyote Pass as quick as he can. We'll meet you there. Say, I almost forgot something. You know, Dixie told me to tell you that she didn't think you was no murderer. <laughs> she did, huh? Yeah, and she said she would have come to see you herself, only the Colonel wouldn't let her. Huh? Say, this ain't no time for lollygagging. Get going! What are we waiting on? The cavalry. Are you loco? It ain't gonna be healthy for us if he catches up with us. Well, it isn't gonna be healthy for that supply train if we don't have a convoy. And we're leading them there? That's right. But what's gonna happen if the engines don't attack? Yeah, but they will. Don't see us. Whee! Hey! Whee! 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 What do you think you're doing, calling hogs? Hey! This 
just now. Hope they didn't forget their guns. They didn't. Name Bear and many warriors on the other side of path await your signal, Tavi Bo. Good. Wagon train, come. Wagon train. Now. You are right, Audrey. But remember, you're still under sentence to be shot. Looks like we may be shot without any sentence. Get their breath, Colonel. They'll be back. Well, I'm afraid we can't withstand another attack. Maybe we won't have to if the Rangers get here. Rangers? Yep. Frog went to get them, and if he didn't fall off his horse, they'll be here pretty soon, too. Hey, look, Colonel. The Rangers. 
Got it, it comes. I'd like to show you, Colonel. I think you'll be interested in this. Your bow. Yes. Or Tavibo, as the Indians call him. I'll bet you a new gun that treaty will hold now. Well, Colonel. Glad to see you've still got your hair. Major, I want to apologize for the way I've acted. Texas does need the Rangers. And I want to apologize for my attitude, Colonel. Texas needs the cavalry, too. Dang, if you ain't both right. Together, they ain't nothing we can't take care of. Ranger, ride, for a ranger, you are gone, you are meant to be. 